So our first lesson for our series on geometry is going to deal with algebra applications with angles. So basically today we're going to take your knowledge of geometry and your knowledge of some basic algebra skills and we're going to put them together so that we can algebraically solve problems that deal with geometry principles. I know it sounds like a lot but it's it's really not that much. So let's start off with some examples. So for our example one we know that this angle equals 2x and this angle equals 80 degrees. So the first thing we have to notice about these two angles is that they're vertical angles. And if you remember vertical angles are congruent. So this is congruent so this angle is congruent with this angle. So if two angles are congruent, that means that their measures are equal. So to show that their measures are equal, we're going to take 2x and set it equal to 80. Now we can use some basic algebra skills to solve for x. So if you divide both sides by 2, you get x is equal to 40 degrees. Now for y, we can set up two kinds of equations. Since we know that these two angles together make up this line, that means that these two angles are supplementary. So these two angles sum equals 180. So in order to show that, we're going to take 2x plus the measure of y and set it equal to 180. Or you could notice that these two angles are supplementary and say y plus 80 equals 180. For this one, it's going to take you a little less time. You can just subtract 80 over and get y equals 100. For this one, you'd have to substitute our value of x in. So 2 times 40 plus y equals 180. 80 plus y equals 180, so y equals 100 degrees. So now we're going to do another one, and we know that the measure of angle BAD is 90 degrees. So that means that this, the sum of these two angles because they're separated by this ray AC is going to be 90 degrees. To, so to show that we're going to take 4x plus x equals 90 degrees. Now we can do that because of the the addition property of angles. In geometry we always have to have a reason for why we're allowed to do something. So our reason for this would be addition property of angles. Now we won't always have to write out that reason, that's just good to know so that when you look back over this you know what we did. So 4x plus x gives me 5x equals 90. Divide both sides by 5 and you get x is equal to 18 degrees. Now I'm not done quite yet because I found the value of x and the value of this angle which is 18 degrees but now I need to find the value of this angle so I need to take 4x and plug in 18 for x so 4 times 18 is equal to 72 now if you want to check your answer, you can take 72 plus 18 and set it equal to 90 degrees. And if you add these together, you'll get 90. And since 90 does in fact equal 90, these two answers are right. So we have a couple more examples we're going to do. So we have this, these two angles right here. They both form a line. So that means that these two angles are supplementary, which means that their sum is equal to 180 degrees. So 4x minus 20 plus x is equal to 180 degrees. 4x plus x is 5x 
minus 20 is equal to 180 degrees. If you add 20 to both sides, you get 5x is equal to 200 degrees. We're going to divide both sides by 5. We get x is equal to 40 degrees. Now I have to go back in and plug this in to this equation. So 4 times 40 minus 20. 4 times 40 is 160 minus 20 gives me 140. And if you want to go back and check, 140 plus 40 and set it equal to 180, and 180 does in fact equal 180. So that's how we know those answers are right. So we have one more problem we're going to do today. So we're told that angle LMK is a right angle. So this big angle right here is a right angle. Since a right angle has a measure of 90 degrees, we know that this big angle has to equal 90 degrees. So that means the sum of each one of these little angles has to equal 90 degrees. So 2x plus 20, we're going to add these two equations together and set it equal to 90 degrees. 2x plus 4x is 6x. 20 minus 2 is 18 equals 90 degrees. If we subtract 18 over, we get 6x is equal to... So 6x is equal to 72. Divide by 6, we get x is equal to 12. Now we can go back and we have to plug in this to these two equations. Because right now we only know what x equals. We want to know what each of the angles equal. So 4x minus 12, excuse me, minus 2. We're going to plug our x in, so 4 times 12 minus 2. 4 times 12 is 48, minus 2 is 46, so the measure of this angle is 46 degrees. 46 degrees. Now this angle, we can solve it one of two ways. We can do the same thing we did here and plug in x, so we get 2 times 12 plus 20. 2 times 12 is 24, plus 20 gives me 44. Or I could have plugged it into this equation. I plug in 46 for 4x minus 2 equals 90, and then 2x plus 20 plus 46 equals 90. I'd get 2x, 20 plus 46 gives me 66 equals 90. If I subtract 66 over, I'll, I'll get 2x is equal to 24, so x is equal to 12. So that's another reason, that's another way to check that my x is correct, and I can plot, or I could have done this, and I could have taken 2x plus 66, or not 66, 2x plus 20 plus 46 is equal to 90 minus the 46 over, and I would have got 2x plus 20 is equal to 44. So you don't always have to check your answers that many times, but it's good to practice when we start it out. So that was our first lesson in geometry. Not too bad. Um, but make sure you come back and watch our next lesson where we're going to talk about symmetry of shapes.